Let's take a closer look at the Bridgestone golf ball range. So we've got quite a lot of golf balls here. I've split it into two categories, maybe three. So you've got more distance balls here in the E series, and you've also got a Lady Precept kind of over in this series as well. And then we've got the Tour series of balls here in the X range. So Tour series kind of RX5, the Tour BX, this is the one Bryson uses. And then the X5 here, this is the one Tiger is using. So what we're getting on this side of the table, we're getting a tour quality ball, good distance, high levels of control of spin around the green, different slightly different feels, but they're gonna perform very much of a muchness. Now, Bridgestone are actually saying these two tour balls, so these ones are for swing speeds, it actually says it on the box here, swing speeds under 105 miles an hour is where they're maximized for cure how much that is true or not but that's what they're saying that's how they've engineered them swing speeds over 105 it says on the box for these so if you're aware of your swing speeds and you want to test that that's something you could buy and go and test and maybe let me know if you if you feel the difference um because obviously if you swing well I, that what confuses me with that if i swing at 108 and then on a hole where i want to carry it further i might swing at 112 110 but then there'll be another hole where I want to swing at 104 because I'm going to hit like a little drive, a cut or whatever into play. Can't change my ball as because I'm a pro golfer, you can't change. And then what happens? <laughs> but that being said, if you want to match it to your swing speed, that's where you are. When it comes to tall quality balls, I mean, they all feel very good off the face. They've got a, a, a nice feel, packed with technology, packed with control, and they do maximize out in distance. Then we go down to the Lady Precept in the Bridgestone, so it's optimised in their minds for what a Lady Golfer wants. Again, similar to swing speeds, I think that's uh, debatable, but if you are after a ball that's dedicated to your gender, they make one. Um, I mean, I think a man or a woman could use nearly any of these balls subject to what they want. Um, E6, this is a great value golf ball. It's got a larger core for longer distance. It's definitely around distance, 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 this, uh, this ball, but it does have a soft feel, comes in some nice colors. And then E12, again, packed with technology, featuring their new contact force dimples. So it allows for more surface area of the ball to contact the club giving you extra distance, control, those kind of ideas, but you're very much in the straight distance kind of market and world here. Again, you're gonna be buying these on the value, on the price. If you want to play your best golf and price isn't an issue, you'll definitely stay more up in the tour range. But if you are more conscious of price and you're losing a few, definitely these are good balls down there in the price range. Which one would you choose and why? Definitely, why for me, I mean, I wanna test the Tiger Ball. Maybe I should do that, give that a test on its own and see if I can get any of the Tiger Woods amazingness from the Bridgestone ball range.